This is great. Uh, I'm from the Bay Area, from the Bay Area, outside of San Francisco. I don't like to get lumped in there because I just don't feel like dealing with the questions. You know, everybody asks the same question if you're from the Bay. So, uh, is it really gay there? <laughs> and it's like, San Francisco's not even that gay, man. It's just those hills make everybody look gay, all right? <laughs> it's true. Everybody in this room has walked up a steep hill before, correct? Right, so you know it's impossible to do that task in a masculine way. Can't be done. All right, think about it. When you're walking up a hill, normally you're like, I'm good. But when it starts getting steep and your back tightens up and your legs start burning, all of a sudden your butt sticks out for no reason. And then your walk's kind of like, ah, ah. And that looks like, well, maybe he has. I don't know. I really don't know. You know, like, like even your heel tired is different from normal tired. When you normally get tired, your hands go on your knees. You know, I can't breathe. Coach, sub, you know? On that hill, nope, you get gay. You know, like, you're walking, you're like, ah. <laughs> oh Jesus, like you wanna keep going? Like I'm just like, this is really my hips do this on its own for no reason, right? And then you end up taking that real gay deep breath, you know, you're like, whoo! And like, <laughs> like, like that breath looks like he's done it. I know he has. And it's just what it does, man. It's just what it does. It's a crazy place, man. It's a crazy place. It's got a lot of <laughs> It's got a lot of like homeless and junkies there, you know. You gotta, you gotta give their each own their respect. You know, junkies are people that are addicted to drugs. Homeless people are just people that love building clubhouses so much as a kid, they were just like, I'm gonna do this forever. You know what I'm saying? Like, just on the streets. Why pay rent when I can live in this box? You know, like, they're just committed, that's all. You know? But I respect both parties for what they do. Like, I respect junkies too. I mean, it takes a lot to go out there and do that every day, you know? Uh, I take it back, I take it back. I don't respect fat junkies, here's why. This is why, this is why. I'm a firm believer that no matter what you do in life, you go 110%, you know what I'm saying? Real junkies are only concerned about their next fix, so if you're stopping to eat, you ain't focused. You know what I'm saying? Like, I need you out here every day about that life, you know? Like, this, this guy can come to me, he's like, hey, brother, man, you think I can get a dollar from you? I was like, heck no, man. I was like, nah, man, not with that cheese beer in your hand. I was like, look at this guy over here. He is butt naked in the middle of the street dancing, all right? If you don't get on his level, I'm giving him my money because he's committed. You know what I'm saying? That's how I feel. That's how I feel. And then the guy, he got, he got mad at me and he cussed me out, you know, I, I think, because he did the junkie cuss out, where they kind of cuss out the area around them, but you don't really know, like, who they're talking to. They're always saying real irrelevant things. You know, I was class president in 1979. You don't know, I'm like, what does that have to do? What? Are you talking to me? I don't really know. I don't. And he, it was crazy because he was going on this rant, and I finally I got mad, and I was like, man, get out of my face. And he said something real weird at the end of his rant. I'll never forget it. He was like, man, forget you, man. I don't need this. Hey, follow me on Twitter. And I was like, wait, wait a minute. You, you have a Twitter account? Like, this is from where? Like. So I followed him, and he's hilarious. He's absolutely hilarious. He's got a lot to say, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. 